The Hammer Man is back. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the McFans Toys Ultra Magnus. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, usually I would take a quick look at the packaging, but I did not get any original packaging for this figure. But I do have a uh, a wrapper for a uh, for a protein bar. So I so I so I got. So moving right along, here we have Ultra Magnus. Yes, Ultra Magnus. Now, I, I just want to take a minute to talk about the naming here, because every time I review one of these McFan Stories figures, people always make fun of the names and call them lazy. I mean, y'all can't wait to call somebody lazy anyway, but let, let's be real about it here, okay? You're going to call him Ultra Magnus anyway, right? You know, I'm not going to call him City Commander. I'm not going to call him Maximum Ares or some word I don't know how to pronounce. I'm going to call it Ultra Magnus, so what does it matter if they decided to just spell it a little differently? I just think it's a little unfair criticism, but that's just, that's just my personal opinion, but hey, you do you. But anyway, here we have Ultra Magnus, or Ultra Magnus, and, uh, and as you can see, him in his vehicle mode here, and I do quite like his vehicle mode. It's actually pretty stylish. I dig the look of it. Um, and this is obviously a knockoff of the Iron Factory Ultra Magnus. And uh, it's it's a well-done knockoff. Um, you know, it's a knockoff, but a well-done knockoff. It, you know, feels pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of looseness issues on my copy anyway. But other than that, I mean, the plastic still feels uh, nice and solid. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some nice silver paint up front here for the front grille. Yellow for the headlights. You got some nice metallic blue paint there. For the windshields and the windows there, we got some more silver, and you have all the wheels going down the sides here. There are a lot of wheels on this, but none of them roll. None of them roll. They are all just molded into place. There is no rolling. You can slide them. You can slide them around real good, but none of the wheels actually roll. But that's okay. <laughs> Doesn't bother me that much. Got some silver back here. And you can see these are obviously going to be his robot mode legs. As is usually the case within Ultra Magnus. Got, of course, the uh, missiles done in red. There's the underside. And there you go. And for comparison, uh, here it is with the Fall of Cybertron Ultra Magnus. Just because. Here it is with Titan's Return Hot Rod. You can see how he scales there. And you can see it's pretty much a deluxe-sized figure. And here it is with Titan's Return Cup. So you can see how they scale there. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, you do get the, uh, the handle for his hammer here, which is just cast in white plastic. You can store this on vehicle mode. You can just turn this section up like that. And you can plug it onto the side of the trailer, like so. It's like just a big gun there on the side. And he does also include his gun right here. Again, just cast in white. And that can peg in right up top. So there you go. You can have all of his accessories stored on the vehicle mode. Another thing you can do is, if you don't like the uh, shoulder missiles here, you can unplug them, and there's a port on the back, and you can actually plug them in up front like that. If you prefer that look, hey, you have options, and as always, options are good. So, hey, you got some display options there, as far as the truck mode goes. Me, personally, I like them on the sides, but hey, as always, your toy, display it however you wish. But yeah. That is basically it for the truck mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's so just want to remove the gun. Remove this. You also want to remove the missiles and put those off to the side. And now you want to come back here. You want to remove this white section. This just slides right up. You can see there are just tabs on either side here. Just go into these grooves right there. So just take that, put that off the side, and we can get started. Uh, the hands have already undone themselves for me, but you just want to just bring the arms up. As you can see, there are just tabs that just peg into the hands themselves. So just bring that up, come to these side panels here, you just untab them, bring them back, 
on tab, bring that back, and then you just take the legs and you just straighten them out, straighten them out, and then just split the feet, and there you have the lower body all done. Easy peasy. That's all there is to it. Then you take this front section here of the cab, bring that up. The cab itself will just collapse down onto his back, like so. And then you just split the arms, bring them back, and they will just tab in right back here. Like that. And like that. And last thing we want to do is just put his shoulder missiles into his shoulders because that's where shoulder missiles go. And there you go. There you have Ultra Magnus, aka Ultra Magnus, in his robot mode. And I do quite think the design, he's just like a, a wide, stocky Ultra Magnus. I actually think it looks pretty cool. I actually do quite dig this design. So let's get in closer, not on his belly, on his noggin, there it is. You can see, not a bad head sculpt. We got some nice silver paint there, blue for the eyes. The mouth, from certain angles, it almost looks like he's smiling. Like, if you look at it like that, it almost looks like he's going, hey! But no, it's just more of a kind of serious mouth there. <laughs> and you got some silver paint there on the chest, silver on the abdomen. Nice silver details here on the shoulders, silver here on the forearms. Got silver thighs. Got some nice red paint ups here going down the legs. His big old feet. And going up the back. Again, pretty, you know, clean transformation. Just has a bit of a butt flap going on there, but that's pretty much it. So yeah. Oh no. A nicely done little figure, in my opinion anyway. Now as far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint, you get a little bit of wiggly waggly wiggly waggly, you can look up a little bit, look down a little bit, can do a full 360. Shoulders are on a ball joint, can do a full 360, can go in and out that far. You have bicep rotation, you have 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow, you do have wrist rotation, you have waist rotation, the hips are on a ball joint, legs can move forward that far back that far forward only that far you do get thigh rotation a little bit of thigh rotation you get 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet can move up a little bit move down a little bit you get a bit of ankle tilt as well as some rotation there um the hips on mine are a little bit as you can see a little bit on the loose side that's the looseness issue that I was talking about, on my copy anyway. You know, it's easily fixed, but yeah, just a little bit loose there. You can see there's even a little bit of silver paint there on the inside of his legs. So yeah, hips on mine are a tad bit loose. The shoulders are, eh. The shoulders could be a little bit more snug, but they're not too bad. But again, that's easily fixed. So now we're going to uh, put his hammer together. So you just take this, just straighten all that out. You want to take this and just bring these panels in. So what's going to happen here is you're going to take this and it's just going to peg in right there. And you're going to close this up and this is going to sit in this little groove right there. So make sure it's sitting right in that groove. You can close that up like so. And there you have Magnus's hammer. It does have some nice metallic blue paint on it. And you just open this up. You just plug it into his hand and just bring that down. And there he has his mighty hammer. And of course, you can give him his gun as well. Just pegs right in. He does hold that nice and secure like. So there you go. We have Magnus all armed up. So yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him. I like him. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with the Fall of Cybertron. Ultra Magnus. Here he is with the McFans Toys Megatron. Here he is with the McFans Toys Shockwave. Here he is with the McFans Toys Dinobots. As you can see how, how they look together. If I can get them all in shot here. I'll try. That's the best I can do. There you go. 
That's how he looks with the Mex Fans Toys Dinos. Get out. And here he is with Titans Return. Hot Rod. Titans Return. Cup. And again, you can see he is basically, you know, deluxe sized. We'll bring in some others. Titans Return Blur. Generations RC. And Wheelie. That's as much as a that's as much of a group shot as I'm gonna give you here. <laughs> there you go. That's all they all look together. So there you have Mech Fans Toys, Ultra Magnus, and uh yeah, it's it's a nicely done figure in my opinion. The only issue I have with mine is just the uh the hip joints are a little loose, but that's easily fixable. It's a pretty simple transformation, but it's still it's still fun to mess with. I, I have been enjoying messing with this figure. And as far as quality goes, um, you know, the plastic feels, you know, nice and solid and sturdy, so uh, really no complaints there. It's a knockoff, but it's it's a good quality knockoff in my opinion anyway, so there you go. Now I picked this up from Sir Toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below. You can also check out my knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Mech Fans Toys Ultra Old Magnus, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Hey, hey Magnus, oh, what? Wait a second. Weren't you... Weren't you taller before? Oh, wait, wait, let me guess. You couldn't deal with being that tall, huh? <laughs> couldn't deal with being that tall. I always know how to deal with you.